We got a really good deal because of the pandemic, but the rent is increasing, so we are going to be moving into another apartment. But I've always wanted to do a room tour. I procrastinated it, but since I'm moving, it's kind of like, I gotta give you guys a room tour. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys where I've been living for the past couple months. And I also want to add that today's video is sponsored by Polygens. Thank you so much for making this video possible, and I will be talking more about them in the video. But yeah. The point was at this time that when I did that, we were speaking about that nothing is really corny if you can find a way to do it. So the first thing that you see when you enter into my room is this really big gallery. This is actually my favorite part of my room. I just collected or purchased a bunch of posters, images throughout the years and I organized it on this wall. I always wanted to have some sort of gallery in my room. So I like my room with a lot of personality so I try to incorporate who I am into the way I rearrange and design my room so this gallery is kind of a representation of who i am i have anatomy posters and this bone that i did orthopedic surgery on i have like photos and art prints of things that i like i have art prints from small businesses i have the last airbender screen caps my flag spider-man just a bunch of stuff that i like um but yeah So I just want to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Polygents. Polygents is a research academy dedicated to motivated high school students looking to be mentored by an expert in their field. Students take on incredibly productive and eye-opening projects that help shape the way they learn about the world around them. Polygents would be an excellent additive to your education as it can help prepare you for high school and college classes. There are so many successful projects that students have completed with their mentors, one of which that stood out to me being this project on Alzheimer's disease. So Jack worked with his mentor Zach, an MD PhD candidate, to study and write a paper on Alzheimer's. Personally, as a high school graduate, current pre-med student, and neuroscience research intern, I was very impressed with the results Zach has produced. Honestly, in general, being able to work with experts in their field as a high school student and produce presentations, podcasts, videos, research papers, and more, it's a very unique opportunity that you guys should definitely take advantage of. Pursuing a passion project with a mentor is the best way to learn and can even set you on track to pursuing education in a very competitive college. So use my link below to get $250 off your Polygens program. Get paired with an expert mentor in your industry of choice to make your passion project a reality. So under my gallery, I have this little garden, my little army of plants. I actually started getting into plants recently, a couple months ago, mainly because my mom really likes gardening and she loves plants. So I thought, why not take up something that my mom also likes to do and ended up being, I'm a really big fan of plants. I'm still trying to become a better plant mom, but these are my babies, I love them so much, and they just make my space so much nicer, and they make me happier, honestly. So moving on to this corner of the room, this is where I keep my less meaningful posters and images. I just hang up whatever I think looks good. This is the side of the wall that doesn't really get much light or attention so I decided to just put the extra posters that I had over here. Then I have this little shelf. This is actually a bathroom shelf. I wanted a shelf but the non-bathroom shelves were really expensive at Ikea so I just settled for this one and plus it doesn't even look like a bathroom shelf. It looks like a regular white shelf so I thought it was perfect. Um, on the top I keep my books and I do read books on my phone 
but these are books that are a little bit more important to me. So these are just Islamic books and books that have been passed down or gifted to me. And then on the bottom shelf, I keep what I like to call all my nerd stuff, I guess. It's just a bunch of Funko Pops and comic books that I collect. And on the third and fourth shelf, it's a bunch of random junk. These are like the kitchen junk drawer, you know, just a bunch of stuff that I have no place for because it's stuff that I like to hoard. So moving on to my desk, which is also a personal favorite. I mean, I spend like more than half the day here so obviously I have tried to make it as comfortable as possible. My desk is a flexi spot desk so it's an electrical desk that has these buttons to go up and down which is pretty cool and my desk is honestly like 30% space and 70% just plants. This is where I put most of my propagations. I place them on the windowsill in front and on the side of my desk. I also have a couple of potted plants. And you may notice I do have like a collection of miniature furniture, but that's because I'm currently building a miniature greenhouse. I had no idea where to put the little items that go inside the house. So as I build them, I'm just storing them on the side of my desk next to all my plants. The plants are very, very helpful for like my mind and my work it helps build an easygoing environment and every time i sit at my desk i feel a little happier because i'm surrounded by all these plants and propagations in front of these plants um i try to embellish the windowsill with these trinkets and like science models i guess uh, my sister's friend gifted me this organic chemistry model kit so i put it together and placed a couple of them and i also have this anatomical heart that's really cool it actually opens up so you get to see all the parts of the heart before I go over the other side of my desk where I keep a couple more stuff, I do want to talk about this huge wall of subway posters describing train delays and stuff like that. This is actually an idea that my friend gave me. She said that there was this one time she took the poster off of the wall and put it up on her wall. And obviously me being me, I love filling up walls and decorating my place. So I thought, okay, like, why not just do that? And now I have this entire gallery full of train delays, which is honestly actually pretty cool. Cause every time I look up at one of the posters, I get reminded of when I took it and like what was going on. Every single poster kind of has a story. It's a nice um, collection of memories, if you, if you will. And there isn't anything that says I cannot take the posters off the walls. So there's that, but um, moving on to the items on my desk. So this is where I keep a couple of items. I have my most used stationery. I also keep my film here. I still need to develop these films. I also have a couple of trinkets, um, my glasses, a couple of propagations, obviously. And last but definitely not least, if you look under my desk, I just have like this little cubicle slash organizer. This is where I put my stationery and I actually gave most of it away to my siblings because I switched to an iPad. So obviously I have less of a need for all of this stuff, but I did keep a lot of my journaling materials and such. But yeah, um, that's it for the entirety of my desk. Starting off with the window, um, on the windowsill here, there's an air conditioner and there's like a little bit of space. So that's where I put a bunch of boring miscellaneous items. I have this like acrylic shelf where I put commonly used self-care items. I think the most exciting thing here is this suturing kit. I had this whole suturing phase. It quickly went away, but I'm planning on getting back into it because it is a really nice de-stressor. Suturing is honestly really, really fun, especially with these kits. So if you're a pre-med student, 
I recommend you get one just for fun. So this is my bed, nothing special. Um, it's actually supposed to be a futon where you can unfold it and it becomes a bigger bed. The reason why you see the skeleton in this video and there's no cushion against the top of the futon is because something happened to the actual futon cushion, so I had to replace it with a mattress. So above my bed slash futon, I have this little gallery. It has the skeletal system anatomy poster that I got from the Strand. I have my plaques from high school and I also have um, two of these yellow prints. I thought that the yellow kind of matched the aesthetic. This print with sun rays on it is actually from this Filipino market. And I also have like this DIY plant holder that I thought was pretty cool. It's made out of this container that usually stores honey and I thought it was so innovative of me to put it on the wall and put my plant on it. Behind my bed, I have my closet. My room is actually the living room, so it didn't come with a closet, so we decided to move in this rack. It is pretty sturdy. I put a lot of my sweaters, my clothes, literally everything goes on this rack. I also like to keep all my bags and cameras on this rack. Above my makeshift closet, I have this little gallery. It's made up of a lot of meaningful quotes, pictures, certificates, mini achievements, and such. And on the left, of that gallery, I have a really big Filipino flag. That concludes the end of the room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so excited to be moving out and actually be closer to the school. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and liked the gallery and the art and all the plants and stuff like that. I had so much fun like putting this all together for the past couple weeks, months. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to Polly Jones for sponsoring this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!